Hey, welcome to part 2 of the Otter tutorial. In this video, we'll do the muzzle and the assembly of the Otter. So we're doing the muzzle in white or cream yarn. And in round 1, we do 6 single crochet in a magic ring. In round 2, we do an increase into each stitch. This makes 6 increases, which gives us 12 stitches in total. After round 2, we can remove the stitch marker and then close with a slip stitch. Then we cut the yarn, making sure to leave a tail for sewing. I'm going to embroider the nose and mouth after the piece is assembled, but you can do it now if you prefer. We'll start with sewing on the arms. The top of the arm is just underneath that color change and about two or three stitches away from the eye. And they're sewed on slightly slanted to face towards the tummy. Once you have an arm in position, grab a stitch from the body. Then go up into a stitch of the arm and down into the next stitch of the arm. And then grab the next stitch of the body. And we're going to do that all the way across the arm. Once I reach the other side of the arm, I like to grab that top stitch again and go through to the other side and grab that first stitch. You can go back and forth a few times if you like. Then bring that yarn tail through to the back. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the second arm. Just make sure it's symmetrical with the first. Once it's secure, bring that yarn tail through to meet the first. And then we can tie these two yarn tails together. And just push that knot into the body. Now the legs are sewn on, also slanted, about 3 to 5 rounds up from the base. And we're going to sew them on exactly the same way as the arms. And I'm putting my leg in line with the arm. The bottom of the leg is going three rounds from the base. But you can position it wherever you prefer. For the second leg, just make sure it's symmetrical with the first.
Now the ears are sewn on between rounds three and five in a slightly oval shape. So first I like to grab the tail from the magic ring and insert that where I want the ear to go. And then I like to flatten it slightly and then sew it in place using the other yarn tail. And same way as before, I first grab a stitch from the head, go up into a stitch of the ear and down into the next stitch of the ear. And do this all the way around. You can go back and forth under the ear a few times to secure the tail and then bring it through to the same place as the first yarn tail. And the second ear will do exactly the same way. Now the tail is going about 5 rounds up from the base, pretty much in line with the top of the legs. And we'll sew this on the same way as all the other pieces. You can go back and forth a few times under the tail and then bring that yarn tail through to a few places on the body to secure it. Now for the muzzle I like to do one half on the bottom colour and the other half on the top colour. First grab the tail from the magic ring and insert that in the middle of the eyes right between those two colours. Then to get rid of that step over there, I like to go up into the next stitch of the muzzle. And then go down into the stitch right next to it. This just makes it a little bit smoother. Now we can sew the muzzle on exactly the same way as the other pieces.
Now for the nose, you'll need about 30 centimeters or one foot of your medium black yarn. And I like to make the nose about two stitches wide. And go over that stitch twice. But you can go over it a bit more if you want it to be thicker. And then I just like to make a simple stitch for the mouth. And now your otter is completed. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and remember to hit that notification bell.